Uh, there's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. sort of interim fight or another fight we welcome that we love to see AJ back in the ring in May or June and that'd be brilliant it'd be great to go back to, to Tottenham or something like that it'd be fantastic wouldn't it and have a, a sort of spring summer uh, occasion we know we've got um, the Tyson Fury uh, Dillian White fight at Wembley which is a, a, you know massive sellout which is fantastic it'd be great to have another uh, big British uh, fight and why not why don't we get a, a sort of you know British heavyweight fight whether it's the likes of a, a Joe Joyce or you know could we tempt even Daniel Dubois was here today I know that you know they're looking at the the Trevor Bryant fight but I don't know whether it's a, a, a fight like that or, or they go to America and, and, and think of, of one of the opponents there obviously Deontay Wilder who knows what's going to happen with him the likes of Luis Ortiz and Andy Ruiz but if he's preparing sometime down the road for an Usyk fight maybe a, a southpaw would be a good idea and whether that's I know Otto Wallen's thrown his name into the hat and you know, there's, uh, I mean, I don't think we want to see Charles Martin again. So maybe it's Luis Ortiz, you know, that's a, that's a possibility. But I, I think that, um, you know, while he's obviously chosen to, to, uh, to focus full time with Angel Fernandez, Anthony, um, they'll obviously utilize this time properly. And I, I... Those are the words of Adam Smith. Of course, Adam Smith is the head of the boxing development at Sky Sports. And that was his take on Anthony Joshua. If Anthony Joshua takes an interim fight and it's looking like that's going to be the road that he has to walk down because of Alexander Usyk at war in his country. And the names that he mentioned, Luis Ortiz, he said that twice, Deontay Wilder, Otto Vailene, Daniel Dubois, Joe Joyce. But <laughs> he did not want to see Charles Martin again. And let's, that's what I want to talk to you guys about. We do know Charles Martin came to the UK shores as an IBF champion and was knocked out in two rounds. And we really didn't know a lot about him at the time. All we knew is he got knocked out. Well, his second loss was to Adam Kalnaki, which was a pretty good fight. I think he started late because he did start throwing punches, landing hard punches on Adam Kalnaki. And I think a couple more rounds of the last round that he had with Kalnaki would have really cracked that shell of Kalnaki because we all seen what Hellenius done in two fights with Kalnaki and he was busted up pretty bad. Okay. And uh, they stopped the second when he was knocked out in the first. And Charles Martin, of course, his third loss came to Luis Ortiz. So it makes sense, and I can understand how um, Adam would pick Luis Ortiz. Because for one, he's the winner out of a heavyweight clash. The first heavyweight clash of the year it was on January 1st, where Luis Ortiz took on Charles Martin, uh, knocked Charles Martin senseless, standing on his feet. It was a very bizarre knockout, but those type of things happen. That's why boxing is the sport that I love that I hate so much because the type of things that happen in boxing are some, somewhat downright uncanny, okay? And Luis Ortiz is a southpaw. Um, Charles Martin, I don't think, is that bad. You know, I think that... You know, by now, he's been hit by some of the biggest punches. Um, Luis Ortiz made him look... i never seen him like that. When Luis Ortiz hit him, as you guys can see, that punch really did something to him. Like, seriously. You know, um, Charles Martin, I, you know, I, who wouldn't want to fight AJ? Andy Ruiz, if anybody that I would reject counterpunching Adam Smith would be Andy Ruiz because he hasn't done anything. See, at least Charles Martin did sign the dotted line to face Ortiz. He didn't run or claim he wasn't ready being a former unified champion. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, I give Charles Martin credit over Andy Ruiz, someone like that, because at least he's active. At least he stepped up to the plate. 
versus never stay, never getting out the dugout. Okay. So, um, but Adam Smith being the head of the boxing development for Sky Sports, you know, has a lot of pull in what he desires and his um, preference for what fighter that he thinks. And if anything, you know, he has some influence over what he wants and what he doesn't want. So Charles Martin is out. Luis Ortiz, Otto Violin, Joe Joyce, Daniel Dubois, those guys are in the mix. You guys tell me what you think of Adam Smith saying that we don't want Charles Martin again over here. Tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.